Well, you've caught me here in the lift-out hatch at Oak Hill. Provides access for the Y tail track up here. It also gives one heck of a nice view of the train going by it. This hatch is here to allow access to the tail of the Y track over here. There's a turnout and a need to couple and uncouple cars. And also, it makes it possible to work on scenery in the back corner. I got the idea for this hatch from a picture I saw of John Allen's Gory and Defeated Railroad. He had a hatch like this in the town of Port. And I thought, that's a good idea. So I decided to build me one, too, when I needed access back here. This hatch lifts up and latches in place. I put a couple of cleats in. These are just screwed in place on the bottom, and I can take and move them back and forth. Like this, the hatch can go down, but like this, the cleat holds it in place. This piece of plywood rests on top of the cleat. To keep the hatch aligned, I've got a pair of steel drawer slides, one here and one on the other strut. I got them down at Home Depot. They're just standard heavy-duty steel roller-bearing drawer slides. You can see how they guide the hatch up and down. Let me lower the hatch so you can see it in action. One of the challenges of a hatch like this is making it disappear when it's down. If it was an absolutely flat tabletop terrain, it wouldn't be so difficult. But because I've got contours in the train, it was a little trickier. So what I ended up doing was using pink foam. I put a piece of pink foam on the edge here, and I put a piece of pink foam down here. And then I used a hot wire to cut both of those pieces of pink foam at the same time so I get the contours to match. Did the same thing over on this side, too, down on the bottom and up on the top. Then I took the hatch off of the, I took this plywood hatch off of the, the uh, risers, and I went over to the workbench, and I filled in pink foam around it using the guides at the edge has got to, to let me know where the contours of the hill was so I could fill in the rest of the hatch to match. And it worked out pretty good. It was a lot of work. Well, here I am underneath Oak Hill, directly underneath the access hatch. Before I put it up, these are the struts for the hatch here. These two pieces of plywood, this one and this one, go up and down with the hatch. This one and this one on the outside are firmly attached to the benchwork. In between are those steel drawer slides I showed you before. Let's go ahead and put the hatch up. I grab here and put my head on the bottom of it and push up, and up she goes, smooth as anything. I flip the cleats in place to hold it, and uh, voila, we've got access. There's the cleat, and the other cleat is over here. You can't see it. Down here, we have to shoot staging on the Bear Creek and South Jackson. And with people coming up in the hatch like this, you can see how an elbow could easily be knocking cars off the track. So I put this piece of plywood in here, sort of a guard, so it protects the trains that are in the staging yard. Now there's okay. one other thing. You'll notice that I'm bent over here. This isn't going to work if the track is very close to the floor. The track in Oak Hill is 63 inches off the floor, which means that the uh, bottom of the benchwork here is about 58 inches off the floor. So I can get in here by bending over a bit. But uh, if it was down lower, so I had to crawl underneath, that would get to be really painful. So this, this access hatch in Oak Hill is working for me just because Oak Hill is up high enough for me to be able to get underneath easily.